it's Harold and today I am going to show you how to make a digital table and how to put it into a document of homework or class work. Okay, so to start, you're going to need to go to some search engine, which for me, I'm going to use Google Chrome. Although you, either way, no matter what engine you use, you're going to want to go to Google to find your image. So to start, your first step, you're going to be typing in the Google search box, you're going to type graph. Then you're going to click images, and you're going to find the graph that you think will work the best. I'm going to choose this one, because I, actually no, I'm going to choose this one, because I think it's going to work for the, for the problem I need to do. You can call it graph one. Then you're going to click on this arrow, and you're going to click show in folder. Now, if you have it download directly to your documents, it will download to your downloads folder, which is right here. However, I downloaded it to a different folder. It doesn't really matter where you save it as long as you can get to the file. When you get to it, if you need more than one, you're going to click on it and then do Control C. And then you're going to click away and do Control V for as many times as you need it. Um, I don't need more than one for right now, so I'm going to just right click on the graph and click on edit. And now this one's nice and big, so you don't need to zoom in. But if the one you're using is super small like that, or like that, you're going to need to click zoom in a few times. So let's see. I need to plot points. Nine, one. See Daisy? Sorry, technical difficulties. Points nine, one, and point negative five, negative six. So you're going to, it'll bring you, okay, so you're going to see this right here. And you're going to need to click on brushes and the first brush size either number two or number three and black and then you're gonna plot your first point nine one for me and you're gonna like make a circle there and then you want uh, to plot how, whatever your second or third or fourth thing is right there Now, you're going to want to click under shapes, click this long straight line, and then connect the two points like this. Now, because graphs always go to the edge, if it's a linear equation, you want to draw the, gra the line all the way up to the edge. You could even make it into a arrow if you feel like it. Just got to do it right, otherwise you screw it up. Okay. So now, okay. This is your finished graph. Okay. So now that you have your graph right here. Okay, you're going to click the save button. And then you're going to close that window. And then you should still have this right here. Okay? But instead, you're going to want to open Microsoft Word. Click blank document. Click insert pictures. Then you're going to want to find that folder that you had create that you have your image in and if you don't know, just consult 
uh, the path on the top of your um, document, your libraries thing if you're doing Windows. It's up here, it is this thing. You're gonna wanna check the path in there, and then you can double, and then using that same path, you can go into it through Microsoft Word. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Forgot to take care of that. Okay, so, and then you're gonna wanna click that graph you just created. And now it's in here. Now it's gonna open up a tab that says Format. You're gonna wanna click Wrap Text, and then either behind text or in front of text, it doesn't really matter. And then you wanna click it again, and you wanna hit Fix Position on Page. And then you can like zoom it in, zoom it out, whatever. Enlarge in it, sorry. Same, same thing, just different words. And no matter what you do, you're always gonna wanna save it when you're done. So, you're gonna wanna call it, let's see. Let's say you're just gonna wanna call it Homework. And then if you have any other problems that you have to do for your homework, like, I don't know, H plus 5904 equals 39 or something, you can just do it afterwards. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.